changes coming to the Interstate 89 Exit 16 area of U.S. Routes 2 and 7 in Colchester. The change is simple, but it will be different. Different signals, different design, and different in appearance. The changes will better serve the increasing number of motorists that travel through this area every day and will address pedestrian and bicycle safety. The new design is called a Diverging Diamond Interchange. In this video, you will learn about the project, its benefits, construction impacts, and how to navigate the completed interchange. Before we look at the new interchange design, let's take a moment to talk about the existing interchange and how this project came about. Built in 1971, the current tight diamond configuration has handled tens of thousands of vehicles a day traveling through the area. It was constructed at a time when motorists, pedestrian, and bicycle usage was much different. Current traffic volumes and increasing pedestrian bicycle usage now necessitates a new traffic configuration to handle the changes. The diverging diamond interchange approach has been chosen to address the traffic patterns and safety requirements needed to handle the current and future increase in traffic. The innovative diverging diamond interchange, commonly referred to as DDI, will improve mobility, safety for motorists, pedestrians and bicyclists traversing this heavily utilized stretch of U.S. routes 2 and 7 at the I-89 exit 16 in Colchester, Vermont. Other improvements in the project include adding left turn lanes to U.S. routes 2 and 7 at the Mountain View Drive, Hercules Drive, and Ratty Road intersection. Modernizing traffic signals at South Park Drive, I-89 exit 16, Mountain View Drive, Hercules Drive, Ratty Road, and Tigan Street in Winooski. Construction of dedicated pedestrian and shared pedestrian bicycle facilities. A robust pavement marking and signaling package to help guide drivers through the interchange safely. The DDI is an innovative traffic configuration where vehicular traffic crosses to the left side of US Routes 2 and 7 roadway between the two signalized intersections. This eliminates difficult left-hand turns without increasing the number of lanes or traffic signals. There are over 100 DDIs already in service in the United States, including Utah, Colorado, Michigan, and Idaho, with dozens more planned throughout the country. You may have already driven through one on your travels outside of Vermont. My name is Michael LaCroix. I'm a project manager for the Vermont Agency of Transportation. I'm here to talk to you today about the Diverging Diamond Interchange at I-89, exit 16 in Colchester. The current interchange experiences significant motorist delay and vehicle queuing. These delays and queuing contribute to a safety issue. This area experiences an average of three reported collisions a month, which is the eighth highest rate in Vermont. A lot of these collisions involve left turning traffic. Accommodating left turning traffic at signalized intersections requires green time to be taken away from opposing through traffic and reduces the overall cycle time of the traffic signal. This adds vehicular delay and creates a situation where the traffic signal cannot efficiently handle all traffic at the intersection. When large volumes of left turning traffic are not adequately accommodated, it can lead to queuing, which substantially increases the potential for rear end and side swiping collisions. The DDI design eliminates left turn phases at the traffic signals by directing both left turning and through moving traffic to the left side of the road before the driver's decision to turn or remain straight occurs at the on-ramps. Left turning movements from the off-ramps are also unsignalized. Traffic entering and leaving the interstate will now only encounter one traffic signal instead of two. This will greatly decrease congestion and risk of collisions. A robust package of pavement markings, raised islands, and signage are all well-defined visual cues that will make driving through the crossovers intuitive. Wintertime driving will be identical to driving anywhere else in Vermont. The presence of the raised islands and both ground-mounted and overhead signage will be evident when roadways are covered in snow. Concrete sidewalks for pedestrians will lead up to the interchange on both sides of U.S. Routes 2 and 7. Within the interchange, paved shared use paths will be installed for pedestrians and bicycles. 
The project is anticipated to increase safety and mobility for all users, reduce traffic congestion, and the number and severity of crashes occurring at the interchange at U.S. routes 2, 7, and I-89. Other states that have DDIs have reported crash reductions of up to 60%. The benefits are not limited to improving vehicular traffic flow. The DDI will also provide additional opportunities for non-motorized users to safely navigate the interchange. Also, the DDI was selected in part due to the cost-effective strategy of saving the existing I-89 bridges, therefore reducing the project footprint and impacts to adjacent properties and construction costs. We hope you found this video informative and helpful. Please watch as many times as you need to and visit our project website for more information about the Exit 16 DDI.